Hello and welcome to my video on how to make the perfect iPhone car kit. Now let me show you how my car kit works. When I get in the car I just simply put my iPhone in the cradle. It starts charging automatically. You don't have to do anything for that. And then when I flip on the ignition the radio starts working and the music uh, just uh, continues where, where, where you left it off. Uh, you can, of course, make phone calls with it. You can uh, access your phone book. Once, uh, about five seconds after you put the um, the radio on, the telephone connects with the radio via Bluetooth. You can see the. I hope you can see it. Yeah, that little symbol there. That means Bluetooth. So now you can uh, answer uh, calls, incoming calls, or you can make calls themselves. When I press this button here, you can enter phone mode. You can choose dialed or received calls, uh, missed calls, or you can just access your phone book. You press enter right here, and then you just scroll through your through your uh, contacts. So what if I want to call? Uh, let's say I want to call uh, my my home, and because of the iPhone, you also have different numbers uh, in your in your phone so let's say I just want to call this uh, oh yeah I have to press enter again then you can see it starts calling home but I know that nobody's home so I'm just gonna hang up now by pressing this button and the music comes back on uh, there is no quality loss from the music because you're not using a uh, sort of thing like an FM tuner or something. It's just a solid cable going from the cradle to the um, to the head unit, so there's, it's always perfect uh, quality for that matter. Of course, you can use your iPhone itself. When you want to access iPod here, it says accessory. I hope you see it, accessory attached. So you're not gonna use um, the iPhone itself for selecting music, you have to do it through the head unit. That's a little disadvantage, I think. But um, all the other stuff like internet or email or everything else works. So that's, um, that's about it, I think. Let me show you now how I uh, built in the whole thing and talk you through the stuff I use. Now I'll quickly run you through the stuff I use. Here is the CarCom Cradle. Then we have the um, Alpine CDE103 head unit. Uh, you have to have this cable, the KCE433IV. Uh, here is the cradle when it was mounted to the console that I used. Cables that were um, that came with the CarCom kit, and you got a, a, a window mount, which you can use if you don't want to use uh, the console to fit it permanently. And here are some pictures of how it was in the dashboard when it was complete. The things that I like most about this car kit is that you uh, can, with one single movement, put the iPhone into the cradle and it starts charging. Uh, you don't have to uh, put in any more plugs or jacks or whatnot to make it connect. Just put it in the cradle. The Bluetooth pairs automatically with the head unit. Uh, you can start scrolling through your uh, music, uh, through your playlist, songs. You can access your phone book. You can uh, choose m missed calls or received calls or calls you've already dialed before. There is no uh, quality loss of the music uh, because of the solid cable running from the cradle from the iPhone uh, through the cable to your head unit. It looks good um, with the telephone console that I used. It, the, the, the cradle is mounted properly, it doesn't jiggle or anything while you're driving, it's solidly mounted and um, well it looks as if it's never been different. The sound quality of the phone calls is very good too. 
Uh, I've heard that on the um, highway, on the motorway, at uh, about 70 miles an hour or 120 kilometers per hour, I sounded as if I was on speaker, but still uh, people could understand me very good. The sound was just a little bit hollow, so they said. But uh, at normal speeds or at lower speeds, um, the sound quality is uh, near perfect. You can also adjust your microphone uh, sensitivity and your um, speakers when using uh, the phone option. When you want more info on uh, how I built the uh, car kit, there's um, more. There's a link on the right side of the page. When you click more info, there's a link to a forum where I did a little report on uh, how it's done, and I posted some pictures on it. You can ask me uh, questions there too, but it's a Dutch forum, so you have to keep that in mind. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to uh, drop a comment, and I'll make sure to uh, answer it as fast as I can. I just wanted to, to, to make this video because uh, I've seen a lot of companies who uh, imply they have the perfect car kit, but when it uh, comes down to it, it looks crap and the, the uh, music quality is bad because of the FM transmitters. Here you can see if what I think is a really bad example. You got one of them flexible mounts that jiggles around when you're driving and you have to connect two jacks before you can start using it. It's just too complicated at all. I hope this video um, can show you how it can be done properly with the easiest way. It may cost a little more than normal, but I always go for something that uh, doesn't uh, start to annoy me after one week. So I want something that's good and that will work for maybe years. So um, that's about it. Good luck with making your own car kit.